You're watching DIY Nate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to tell me about your project in the comments. Today on DIY Nate, I'll be showing you three quick and easy ways to handle what appears to be a clogged garbage disposal in your kitchen sink. I start with a jam disposal fix, then move into solving for clogged pipes. I go in what I consider to be the easiest to more complex fix order. First, I'll show you the Allen wrench fix, followed by a plunger method, and finally, I'll briefly touch on opening up the pipes. I hope you find these tips helpful and it gets your sink and disposal humming again. Today on DIY Me, we are uh, showing you how to fix a clogged uh, garbage disposal. This is a common issue a lot of people face and a lot of people know how to do it. They usually will include a tool that looks like this. It's an Allen wrench with an angle um, to begin with. Uh, so that's your starting point. I'm going to show you what I got here in the sink. So as you can see, there's a bunch of water uh, that's kind of clogged up here, some coffee grind, some other junk in there. And so um, we've tried, we've reached in there to see if there was anything clogging it, and there isn't, uh, that we can feel. But this Allen key is going to help us uh, turn and pivot at the bottom. Some people aren't aware of this simple fix, and some people will call a plumber out. So really hoping this saves you some time. If you need to buy one of these, I'll leave a link in the description to an Allen set. So you can also use a standard size Allen wrench that has the standard L. I'll leave a link in how you can buy one of those kits that has that size as well because that's probably a little more common than this uh, this tool that comes with it but uh, we're gonna get up under here and you can see I'm just going right up underneath there usually will be a hexagon uh, port right there in the bottom and you'll just get your Allen key in there and once you got it in you're gonna take it and typically it should it should turn and once you've got it turned you know the propeller is uh, gonna spin you might have to get a little bit of an angle in there and I'll do it a couple times to make sure it's actually spinning freely this case, yeah, it's spinning. I feel like we've got our, uh, whatever was going on there is probably now working. We'll try it out again, hopefully, and we'll see if there's something else down there. We've got the water running is typical. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing what we need it to do right now. So we'll come back for that in just a second here. We are troubleshooting a uh, clogged sink that has a disposal. The first step I've done is I've taken this and tried to see if I uh, turned the, uh, the propeller in there. That did not loosen the, uh, the material, so I think we've got a clog. And I'm gonna try my second step here, and this is a pretty common one. A lot of you probably know to use a plunger, but some people don't even think of this. They're used to using it on a toilet. It actually can work on a sink as well. Just wanna be careful you don't create too much pressure and push your entire sink down. Um, that can also detach from your countertop. So you wanna be real careful if you do this. You don't apply significant force. You just need to apply a little bit of force. Just be careful you don't push it. So let's get a shot of this. So you can see the water is backed up in here and you can see how there's a lot of water in there. We've added some water too to just give us enough to be able to push down. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna gently push down. And we're hoping that did it, um, we'll see. You can start to see some water going a little bit down. We're trying to run the disposal again here. Works like a charm, usually when we're on your water while you're doing that. So whatever the blockage was, probably some potato peels or onion skin or something. It might have gotten down there. Uh, that's the fix for today. So we tried the Allen key, we followed it up with the plunger. If we had to go elsewhere, let me show you this as well. If we had to go for one more fix, my next step would have been coming down here and uh, detaching the fittings here and getting that clog um, unstuck. Most likely some debris got stuck up in here. That that push that I just made pushed it through. And so that saves you a lot of energy. I hate having to undo these things because then you gotta catch the water that comes out. But um, the good news is for us, we're back on track, uh, five minutes or so, uh, just going through the troubleshooting steps. So hopefully that saves you some time. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff if this saved you some time. And have a good one.